So my name is Patrick McCord. Um, I'm the head of the amateur program here at Leah. Um, and we're out at uh, Monster Energy Cup um, here to support a couple of our, or actually, I should say more than a couple, um, about eight of our top um, elite amateur riders um, that have been invited uh, between the two amateur all-star classes. Um, I've been at Leah for uh, almost six years now. Um, and just about a couple of years ago, um, with some a lot of changes in the company, we um, we decided one of the big focuses that we wanted to have moving forward was um, an elite amateur program um, to compete with um, some of the other bigger brands in the industry um, and really support um, the amateurs, obviously the future of the sport, as we all say, um, and accomplishing some of their goals and then. Obviously, what the Leah brand is about is keeping them all safe at the same time. Well, of course, I mean everybody knows um, what neck braces are by now. I mean we've um, they've been kind of in the sport for 10 years, which in the grand scheme of things is pretty. Um, it's not that long a time, but everybody knows what they are. We still do. Um, we are able to add kids to our program um, as best we can. We're still trying to go out there and push safety as much as possible, um, but pretty much everybody knows what they are and. Um, a lot of kids still have them on and we try to do our best to support um, all those riders. We really do our best to try to obviously convey um, the science and the technology that is behind neck braces um, as it can kind of be a confusing um, topic. Um, so we uh, try to really explain to them obviously um, what our technology is, alternative load path technology and how we help transfer energy um, away from the small bones in your neck um, and uh, other parts of your body that can take that kind of force. Um, and then we also explain what, when you're talking about braces in general, where it's neck braces, knee braces, where you're talking about fracture points and the transfer of that energy to protect, um, but also not become a danger. Um, and so obviously in all of our products, we have fracture points designed to disperse that energy before the brace itself can become a danger to you. So that's a really important thing that we try to convey to everybody so there's a good understanding of how the products work. Um, and then obviously, that track side support that we give to um, whether the kid is actually a part of our program or just a, somebody who wears a neck brace in general, we're always eager to help as best we can when we maybe see something that's not fitted correctly to try to get everybody set up as optimally as possible so they're ultimately as safe as possible. As you know, one of the kids that uh, you guys see um, in this video, Max Miller, um, who's been a part of our program for a few years now and been a, a lead athlete, you could say, for probably his whole um, amateur racing career um, has really had a breakout the year this year we're really happy for him um, and we've always obviously seen that in him the talent he's really put it together this year um, with championships at um, all of that the big amateur nationals um, and came up just short of some championships this year at Loretta's um, due to some bad motors but everybody knows the weather <laughs> this year was really that's kind of the story for everybody but we're really excited for him um, obviously Garrett Marchbanks um, making the move and uh, getting the deal with Pro Circuit. Um, has had a really breakout year for a kid on a big bike who's only 14 years old. Um, and I think so far, just in practice, he was maybe first practice, he was fastest qualifier. Um, so he is really making a name for himself. Um, and Carson Mumford also making the move to Geico this year and really having a good year out there on the 150 against all the two strokes. That's been really awesome to, to be there right along with him. Hey, what's up? Carson Mumford, right here at Monster Energy Cup. Yeah, I've been riding Liet since uh, pretty much when they came out. Uh, I think Kevin Windham debuted them at uh, Anaheim 2 or something. And uh, from then on, we really were interested in running them and uh, never really did any other neck brace since then. We uh, we really loved Liet and the whole family. Two weeks ago, I actually broke one, so that, that really did its job. I took a really big crash and went headfirst into the ground. No neck pain at all, just a little bit of... Uh, I hurt my shoulder actually, so that was it. Really helped me out a lot in that in that case. So thanks to Leah for that one. All right, here at March Banks, we're here at Monster Energy Cup, and yeah, I've been with Leah for three years. They've been awesome. I've been wearing them since I was a little kid, and they've just been one of the best things I've ever worn for, the, for a neck brace. A neck oh. brace, I've been so thankful for it. Like, I've had so many crashes where someone landed on my neck. That happened when I was on a little kid on 50s, and it protected my neck from breaking, and just bikes landing on you from anything, but it's just, it keeps your neck really safe. Hi, my name is Max Miller. I ride Super Mini and I'm 14 years old. Uh, the first time I ever rode with the layout brace was probably 
late 50s, early 65s, and it was one of the best decisions we could have made because shortly after I started, like, well, I always crashed pretty hard when I was little. It just, I felt like, it, I felt more secure when I wore it, and then when I was, uh, I think it was 2013, I um, was at my house riding, and there's this rhythm section that went double, 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 and I went triple, triple, and then I did it a few times, and one time I landed it, hit neutral, and endo, and landed right on my head. I compressed the T4 and T5 vertebrae in my back, but I was actually thankful because like, it was, if I wouldn't have had the win, I could have broke my neck or something even worse. So, yeah.